How you guys like my hair? Good. What, uh, what do you think changed in the second half offensively? Uh, I'm not sure. You have to talk to Coach U about that. It seemed like you had it really going on versus Jarrell. He said he played you tighter in the second half. Did you notice that? Or I was open in the second half. I was open. Yeah, I was open. He didn't play me any tighter. It didn't make no difference. It had nothing to do with the coverage. Um, Josh, after the game, was lamenting that Ball in the, um, that was on me. Was of course, it? he's a quarterback and he's a leader, so he's going to take that blame. But at the end of the day, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. You know, sometimes in practice, it may come out different. It may be shorter. Sometimes it's longer. And sometimes, you know, it just depends. So I think it was on me really to try to open up my stride a little more. And which, you know, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, just, it's a play I had. It's a play I'm supposed to make. You know, and uh, it's unfortunate I didn't make it. And uh, like I told him texting him last night, uh, don't put that on you, you know, because usually you can't over, you know, I always tell them you can't overthrow me. So that's on, that's on me, 100%. And he knows that. And he's just being a polite guy, you know, a great teammate and leader that he is. And I can't, you know, I got to go make that play. And uh, uh, so that's the end of that one. You know, it's definitely on me and that's not on Josh. Everybody knows it. Coaches know it. Everybody knows it. So. I got to make that play. I got to str- open up my stride even more instead of fighting with Darrell. I ended up beating him pretty good, but uh, I got to, I don't know. I got to make that play, though. I got to run it down. Joe, you, you were so complimentary of Darrell when we talked to you last week. Mm-hmm. Even to have the first half that you had against him, mm-hmm. um, what does that say about you? What did you feel about yourself? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't look at it, you know, uh, I guess for like, coaching staff, my teammates, and for like, you know, opponents to talk about me, you know, for every day for me is just about getting better, you know, obviously you guys know I'm still, you know, I've been still dealing with the hamstring, obviously, so I, I want to keep on getting better with that and, uh, and and keep on trying to be the best I can be on the field for my teammates, and and uh, and that's me every day, I'm just trying to get better, find something different I got to get better at, because there's a lot, you know, different things, you know, you never settle. Uh, you know, just because you have a decent game or whatnot, you know, I, I, I personally think I, I didn't play very well because I dropped the first, I f- dropped the third down conversion, which we could have definitely, you know, went down there and scored, which we were moving the ball as well. Josh played through a perfect ball. I dropped it. Rain, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's no excuses. You got to make those plays. And I dropped that. And, you know, and then I also dropped another one too. So, I mean, that's, there's, it's, that can't happen, and uh, you know I own up to that, and you know I'll be better this week, and uh, that's all I'm looking forward to. You know, the earning uh, Josh's trust back, you know, because I, I I felt like I screwed him a couple times yesterday, and uh, you know I, I couldn't I didn't sleep well last night. You know I had down my mind, and um, you know I feel bad, so uh, I gotta be better. I think that's why the ball stopped coming your way. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly I just wasn't good enough yesterday, I guess. So, um, you know, I just got to get better, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And, and uh, what do you say? I don't know. Uh, you watch a lot of film. Mm-hmm. Have, uh, do you recall any you know, watching a lot of Jamie Collins? You know, yeah, he's an awesome player. I was so excited. I was ecstatic when we saw, saw we picked him up. You know, not, not that we're not happy with our teammates, but, I mean, this guy, um, He's experienced and he's he's made a lot of plays. Obviously, he's a Pro Bowl guy, and I was excited. You know, I, that's one of the first people that jumped out, jumped out, out out at me when we played those guys a couple few weeks back. So, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great pickup. What what really you say jumped out, but what really stands out? I think his his athleticism, his versatility. You know, the way he runs to the ball, he's always around the ball, and obviously he's coached by you know one of the best coaches in the league. You know, now he's coming to you know a great coach as well. You know, Hugh and. That's the way he coaches, and uh, and I think the way he plays the, the game, you know, the right way. Uh, you know, just being out there and playing against him, you know, he wasn't a big smack talker. You know, he just wanted to get the job done. You know, and that's what, at the end of the day, that's what it's about. And uh, I was ecstatic to see that we picked him up. It was it was awesome. We got better today. What does it say to you that when you guys are at 0 and 8, but you're still still in front office, just going out and trying to add a piece? I mean, uh, that's that says a lot about our front office, you know, Sash and. You know, our, our, obviously our owner as well, and Hugh and all those other guys, Andrew guys up there. You know, they they we want to win. You know, and it's not that um, 
like I said before, you know, it's the coaches are giving us plays, and as you guys saw, you know, the missed throw deep, you know, that's that's not that's not the coaches, that's us. You know, uh, it has nothing to do with the coaches, and it's been like this all year. You know, offensively, defensively, you know, and our special teams is playing very well now, and they're they're continuing to get better and better. So, uh, it's we got to make those plays, and then if we don't make those plays, this is what happens. You know, you go get guys that can play. You know, that they feel that fits the system and fits the the team well, and they go and get Jamie Collins, which is an awesome pickup. And then, like I said, our team got better today, and it's you know I'm mean, I'm ecstatic and excited to have them on the team. So, what did you see on that? Interception that Josh threw kind of your way? Uh, I thought he was scrambling. Um, it looked like he was looking right. And then when I was sprinting down the field, Darrell was up top. And, you know, those guys back off, way off on me. So I was getting up top. And when I, I started looking back, and it looked like Josh was running, because he's, he's running a little bit in the middle. So I was like, I, you know, I, I did right away. I swam to come back. And then all of a sudden, I see him set up and throw it. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> so my first thing was, I'm, I'm trying to get up there. And if you see him, any, I don't know if there's any pitchers are out there, but I was trying to get up there just to smack it because I knew I was going to make it, yeah. you know, because uh, I don't know. It's just one of those things. He had trust in me, and I like I screwed him, and I look at it like that. So um, that's unfortunate that happened as well. And uh, uh, that's, you know, and that's, that's the thing about, you know, this year right now, uh, we have a lot of things going on. You know, we have five different quarterbacks, you know, coming in, you know. So that's – I was just talking to Josh, and I'm like, man, don't be down on yourself. You played a great game. Uh, you're a leader on this team, you know, as well as Cody, RG, and guys like that. But it's tough to, you know, have chemistry right off the bat. I mean, we, me and Josh have great chemistry, but it's tough to have chemistry on every single thing, you know, when you're not in there all the time with the guys, you know, and you understand what he's looking for, understand what's going on in his mind. So um, uh, that's just things we got to work on. And like I said, I told him in the, in the sauna, we were just in there talking for about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm like, I said, I'll be better for you this week. And, uh, you know, it's all about chemistry and patience. And I said, uh, we'll be better. Coach said that Cody has been cleared from the concussion protocol. He doesn't know who's going to start. Um, do you think it's still going to be Josh? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm sorry if I was talking futuristic or whatever. Uh, I, I didn't know that Cody was cleared. So, But, uh, you know, I think they're two great players, obviously. And, um, you know, whatever. Whatever coach picks, you know, it's going to be best for the team. That's not my decision, and I don't have any say in that. So, um, but, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this week. This is a great team, great challenge coming in. And uh, um, I'm looking to get healthy, keep on getting better. And uh, we get Corey back, so that's awesome. I'm excited about that. So, um, you know, it's positive coming in. You know, we just made a trade for a great player. So uh, the future. Future ain't what it used to be, man. So we're just going to keep on getting better. And, uh, and that's all we're looking to do. And uh, I know the coaches are going to come out this week on fire, you know. And we're all looking for that win, you know. And uh, hopefully we get it this week. When in regards to um, Jamie Collins, mm -hmm. uh, do you think that a player coming from a Super Bowl contender mm -hmm. getting traded to an 0-8 football team might come in here, you know, with some preconceived notions about What's going on around here? Oh, I mean, abs absolutely. Because until you, until you, you know, it's different. You know, until you walk, in, and this isn't anything in life. You know, until you walk into somebody else's, walk in somebody else's shoes, you don't know what's really going on. You don't know unless you're in here listening to Coach Hugh and how he preaches, and you know, and we're not getting the job done as players. You know, and Coach Hugh always has great messages for us every single day, and that's up to us to live by the guidelines of that. And he gives us the answers to the test, you know, on Wednesday. When we come in here on Wednesday, he gives us the answers. This is who we got to stop. This is who we got to stop on offense. This is who we got to stop on defense. This is what we got to do to win. This is what we got to do on defense to win. This is what we got to do on special teams to win. And if we do that, we'll win. And we still haven't, there, there's, no, there's no yes answers on the questions at the end of the game, you know. So we need those yes marks to say, yes, we did that well to win the game and he's given it to us and we we got to go out there and perform and and uh we we, we got to do that and we're getting better at details and getting better on the offense and we got to keep on getting better but uh I'm looking forward to this week you know it's gonna be a big week obviously great team coming in and and uh we're still pushing you know so I'm looking for, I mean, I'm excited about this week as well so I look forward to it you and Revis were very complimentary about each other before the game mm -hmm. interviews mm -hmm. um, 
I know you're at the computer and everything. Did you guys get a chance at all afterward or at any moment to kind of yeah. express mutual respect? Yeah, we chatted and we, we you know, we, we talked about trading jerseys and stuff in the middle of the game, you know, after a block, after a whistle was blown and all that, you know, it's, it's trade jerseys, you know. Because, you know, we're both Pittsburgh guys and, you know, there's a few of them on uh, over here on, on the Jets. So, I was fortunate, you know, we definitely, we had some talks and it was great to trade because I grew up watching him, you know, winning championships in high school. So, uh, it was something I wanted to do. It was important to me. Um, so, so, you guys did do that? Yeah, yeah, we traded jerseys at the end of the game. Yeah. Trent, just wondering, uh, obviously you're saying you, didn't, you weren't happy with the way that you played. Is that why sometimes, like, after games, do you feel like it's just better for you? To it's better for me not to talk to you guys, you know? Because uh, uh, emotions are high. I'm not perfect at by any means. Like I'm so far from perfect, and the only person I know is perfect is God, and what they do to Him. So, um, for me, it's like if I have anything on my mind that's not exactly correct, and and it's gonna hurt me, why would I talk to you guys? And I think it's gonna explode out. And I'm I'm, I'm okay with saying that. And uh, you know, I dance over there like, you know, <laughs> but I, I'm okay with saying that because I feel like. You know, like our moms and dads, whatever you used to say back in the day, you know, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it, you know. So it's not that I didn't have nothing nice to say, but I don't know at the, when my emotions are high, I don't know if it's going to come out the right way, you know. So why I can't talk to Mary right now, I can't talk to, you, you know, all you handsome gentlemen right now because I don't want to say the wrong thing and I don't want to take to get it taken out of context and I don't want to, you know, and I know how you guys get happy typing and stuff, you know, trying to, you know, so I don't want to, I didn't want to, uh, say anything in that type of way and I, I hope you guys you know don't take it as a you know I'm not, I'm not I don't want to disrespect you guys by doing that but I think it's you know for me you know that's the way that's how I do I'd rather if something bad's happening I'd rather come and talk to you guys in the right setting with my mind fresh and I mean that's what we could that's what all you can ask for you know to get why not be happy you know and talk happy and and uh and say the right things in the right context and get it out the way you want and and I think that's sometimes I need that day, you know, the extra day. You know, I'm such a competitor that uh, I need that sometimes. So sorry about that for leaving you guys yesterday as well as the last week. And uh, maybe we get it to get you guys on Sunday tomorrow after this game. Terrell, I, I know last week when we asked you about the, the contract situation, you, yeah. you didn't want to address it. You're just leaving that in the hands of the agents and all that. But what does it mean to you that in eight weeks you, you have gone from uh, – a, a player with with potential but questions to somebody who is now viewed as a cornerstone of this team going forward and pretty much essential that the team makes sure that you you're kept around as far as the the perception of you as a is a player what's you know what every day you know myself Corey Hawk and you know, all the other guys you know we, we strive to you know be the best you know that you know be what our coaches ask us to be you know, and that's all I try to do every day. I don't. I'm definitely not perfect. You know, in the game, there's. I know Coach Al sometimes might want to rip my head off. You know, because he wants it exactly a certain way, which I got to be better at. You know, and I understand that. But you know, if from those talks and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, it's obviously it's. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really. I don't read into that stuff, and I don't read into you know exactly what you know our management thinks of me. You know, I just try to go out there and do the best I can every day. And try to be the best teammate I can be in every day, and I'm not perfect. I know that, and I have a lot of wrongs. I do, you know, sometimes, and you know, I just want to every day. I want to better myself as a person, a player, and a father, and all those things. So, you know, I just I hope I'm doing decent, and I can continue to do well.